recording now. All right, Bach, it's take two. After last night's car wreck, we decided to, Bach and I decided to get back again. <laughs> he kindly decided to help me. And I'm using my own account, and we're not trying to go to Facebook Live. So if it doesn't work this time, we give up. But anyway, Bach, thank you for willing to try this again. You're a sport about it. Thank you for inviting me to do this again, even though you don't know what you're doing thank you for inviting me to do this again even though you don't know what you're doing i got you how many years have we worked together back over 20 year years over 20 years. Over 20 years. And we. this is you and I met you and a good looking young man we were. And I'll tell you the truth. Life has been hard on both of us. We. I guess a year of our time together is like 100 years for anybody else. But uh, this is, this is, and I love your hat you're wearing. It's a good looking hat. So if you ever get to see Bach without the hat, you got that beautiful Kojak head. Looks at me, you're even sexy with no hair, my friend. So anyway... Bach and I have been friends for many years, and uh, it's been a great ride, and we're going to share our journey. I know nobody, Bach, who uses humor better than you do, and that's why this, this is so perfect for you to explain to the world what it's like to have an AAC device and use all your different forms of communication and have such uh, quick-witted humor that you use across time. So here we go, Bach. Just be yourself. Now, Janie knew we both love her dearly. I almost know nobody who's had a bigger impact on the field of AAC than Janie. She helped you get your first device, but do you remember how we met? How, how we met? During my grad school. During my grad school. Yeah, during grad school, she ended up getting you an evaluation and doing getting you a Delta talker. It was exciting times. And then you made her gave her a picture, a self-portrait. Now, how important is AAC to a human being if when they are asked in a college class, you're you're a very good artist, to do a self-portrait, that the self-portrait looks like this. That is a self-portrait of you touching your touch talker. Am I correct about that? Yes. Now, if you could it has. Only this big. It was only this big. About this big. So it looks like it's bigger, but it's not. Actually, behind my head is another Shelton. So if I move my big head, you can see that Shelton behind me. It's for sale. Uh, and uh, I got a house full of Sheltons I got through the years that accumulated. And, and there are there's some of them are in hospitals. Some of my universities have some of the universities across the United States have them in their lobby. So look, keep your eye out for a Shelton. And uh, do you still do much artwork, Bach? Every. Now. And. Then. Every now and then. If you had to do a self-portrait of me, what would it look like? Not. Anymore. But. I. The abstract painting, not anymore, but I do the abstract painting. Yeah, you're great at abstract. 
Bach, you have had a big influence on a lot of individuals and a lot, you know, a lot of young people in camps and things you went to. You remember the family from Pittsburgh? What did they have put on their shirts? The mother had something put on the shirts for the kids. I want to be like Bach. I want to be like Bach. Yeah, the, she, the mother had these t-shirts made for her two sons that use the device says, I want to be like Bach. I wanted to call protective services on her. Who, that is a, who the what kind of parent would want him to grow up to be a monster and like <laughs> my, my friend Bach, so a dr drinking womanizer. So anyway, I, I didn't know what to think about that. But honestly, you've really helped a lot of kids and a lot of people in the world, and I thank you for your help. And Bach, do you remember how our consultations used to work? For years, we went out and did consultations. Yes. So you would stay out and work with the parents while I got to see the kid alone. And then we, we videotape every session. There are literally probably hundreds of videos of us working with individuals. And anyway, I somebody got to find a home for all those videos of me and you when working with the clients doing the consultations. But anyway, this is a consultation. And the reason I want to show this to you is I want to prime you for how Bach and I used to work together. After we would meet with, the, I would meet the client usually alone. Then we would meet the team and the family and we'd have a discussion. And this is a little girl named Claire, uh, 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 Jessica, and her mom. And her mom's right behind her. And anyway, uh, I want to show you Bach's humor and how he uses gestures with his device at the same time. Now, most of the time, Bach, you use just words, one word at a time. You combine words together. Is that true? You don't use very many phrases. Yes. Like. Hand. Some. Like handsome. Yeah, well, you're even showing something more spectacular there. You combine two words together, make a new word like hand and some. So hand some. So you do all kinds of tricks. You use spelling. You use word prediction. You use the words. You combine, yes. two, you combine two words to make new words like not Joe or nacho or something. You have a huge a gift that you can do. But you do use some phrases, especially with the phrase you know you'll use over and over again. Uh, I made a main page that the people I know of. I made a main page that the people I know of. Mom, Jackie, Judy, Mom, Jackie, Judy. Gotcha. Okay. Now, when we were in this consultation, there used to be an old joke we'd say all the time. It wasn't really a joke. Half the time when you got introduced to people, you would say, my name is Bach, Bach Shelton. And they would say, Bob. Then you'd have to say Bach. Yes. But. I would. Not miss mind as long as they know. Me. Yes, but I would not mind as long as they know me. Yeah, as long as they knew you, no big deal. You you, they, you were their friend either way. What you're saying is you, weren't, you didn't sit there and worry about it. You're very good at your Your pragmatic social skills are incredible. But anyway, sometimes I would make the joke that I would say, no, his name is Bach. And I would say it's short for Bacteria. And every time I said that, you'd come back with that same line. You'd say, what's what's another name for a, John, for a toilet? And you'd say, John. Well, in this video, you're going to get to see that happen. Because the video quality is a little poor, I told the story. But what I really want people to catch 
is when you say, what's another, when you're device, you'll have the phrase, what's another name for a toilet? And then what I want them to see is how you use your hands to point the gesture towards me. That's using your gestures along with your speech, which I think is just incredible how well you do. Now, this is where last night everything went south. Did you want to say something? I just. Pointed at you. I just pointed at you. Oh, what's another name for a toilet? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's where it went bad, right here, where the session ended last night. We tried to play a video and it went south. Let's see if it plays. <laughs> no. Not yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> is it playing Bach? Because I can't tell on my end. No. Well, here we go again. So now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this work this time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in there. Let's start the share again. This time I'm gonna optimize for video clip. Start the share. <laughs> Again, and if it doesn't work, we're going to lose another day. All right. Stop getting too much humor out of this, Shelton. My mistakes are not your opportunity to get joy in life. All right. Let's see if it works this time. Here we go. You ready? Hi. Get. Hey. Did she try the eye gaze too? Did I hear that? Uh, yeah, she did. It didn't work very good. She was so good at this. You, you, you. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to mess around. Now, Bach, I want to give you some more credit for how really wise you are for your social skills. Right now, she's building a sentence, and she's using head pointing. She has a dot on her head, and she's controlling. And you have the understanding to be patient and not talk right now while she builds her sentence. Yes. Funny boy. <laughs> <laughs> faces in there Bach when you said what's another name for toilet and you added that gesture by pointing your hands towards me you see those faces of those people there it's just amazing that you're, you're the talent you had for using the your gestures with your speech now Bach that time it actually played didn't it yes yes now, now all we got to do is get back you and I where you and I can see each other yeah. we're getting closer to being able to do this all right, we still so now we got to get back where we can see ourselves. Uh, I, I might do this to stop share and share again because I think that's what I'm going to have to do is stop the share and share again. So anyway, this is probably there. I know there's ten people ten times smarter than that, but what I really wanted to capture was your gift, your gift box for using gestures and your device together. I, I think people really, I really hope people will learn to do that. Is it to work on that with the individuals they work with to uh, use the two together? Because sometimes when people get a device, they forget.
They forget to use both at the same time. Bach, you are a great model for that. I know. All right, so now I got to swap my yeah. screen. The people who help that person needs to be on the same page. Oh, but the people who help the person needs to be on the same page. Yeah, they, they, that's exactly right. They need to be very good advice, Bach. So anyway, I love the way you had such an impact on so many people. So when I was reviewing a lot of the tapes, the videos to prepare for today, I kept catching these sessions where you were actually asleep. I mean, full on asleep during the consultation. I, call, I always said you were the insultant and I was the consultant, but I got paid to work. <laughs> Got paid to sleep on the job, oh. so I, I, that's when there's more than one time I got a video of you sleeping on the job. So anyway, that no apologies needed. True friends don't have to apologize. You know why? You know why? Yeah, because you claim I kept you up all night for sleeping because of snoring. Yes, it's not true though. Because you even without my. Hearing aids. Yes, even without my hearing aids. That's what I was going to tell everybody. You took your hearing aids out at night and you couldn't hear anything. You're saying without your hearing aids, I kept you up at night. So that's why you couldn't stay awake during consultation. Yes. All right, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bach, do you remember when the book came out, Year of Our Lord? Yeah. When, this, when this book came out, I thought you and I and Lucas were going to be the so famous. I mean, I really did. A, the book came out. <laughs> Forward was done by John Grisham and Morgan Freeman. So right on the front cover, John Grisham says, an unlikely journey into the troubled soul of the Mississippi Delta, captured in elegant prose and extraordinary photography, a story filled with compassion, tolerance, and hope, John Grisham. And Morgan Freeman does says something nice. And we ended up on in the getting have a chapter in the book. And I was just sure that we were you and I and Lucas would someday be famous and rich over this book. But the story I want to tell them is how you got even with me. Uh, 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 there's a, a line I want to use from some French philosopher or something that said, <laughs> revenge is a dish best served cold. And uh, you, I can play pranks on you, and but you always get even. And usually it's worse. So here's what happened. I'm, I'm going to get to tell it today. You told it last night. So the book came out, or was on its way of coming out. And you can see that this this one book I have in my hand is an advanced copy. So if you look carefully, it'll say advanced copy. See, look how slick all this is working today. This is advanced copy right here. But before we got the advanced copy, a uh, version came out and uh, that chapter came out and just said, It is the blue screen. It is the blue screen. Oh, there you go, Box. So you're still needed for something. Well, how did that happen? Oh, oh, it's a blue screen. Let me try this. There it is. All right, thank you, Box. That's still the blue screen. You're right. No. All right, I got to start a share then. Thank you, Box. All right, what do you got now, Bach? Tell me, we got a blue screen, or can you see them? Only you. Only you. All right, we're not going to fight this thing anymore. Uh, later, I'm going to have to figure it out. All right, now, I, I'm having the trouble again. Here's what happened to me last time, because I, I have the, my screen actually works. All right, so now we see each other. We're just going to go. I, I can't fight it any longer, this crazy stuff. It must be more. I keep blaming the technology, but it has to be me. So anyway, uh, during resident presentations, though, all I do at this spot, oh, that much I'm doing my share and just see if we can get this to work. I, I really want to, I want this to work a little better. All right, Baca, what do you see now, my friend? That, you still see the blue screen. Isn't that weird? Yes. Yes. All right, let me see if I can do something, anything I can do different to make that work. It has something to do with that sharing a screen. It has something to do with two screens is what it is. So I can't figure it out, but I sure would like to. 
Here we go again. This is it. Don't start laughing on me. <laughs> All right, that's enough's enough. All right, my friend. All right, so back to Bach and I. Who knows what's going on here? So here, so I don't want to get caught up in that again. Just went south so fast in this time. You get too much humor out of it, my friend. So anyway, when the book came out, before it came out, I got a a version of it in text, and there was a line in the there was a line in there that said that that it, it, this was the page that was in there. And uh, this is the page. Now tell me, my friend, what you're seeing on the screen now. Yeah. Ugly. Face. You ugly face. All right. Well, that's what I want to see. All right. Now what do you see, my friend? Tell the truth. The book. The All right. book. All right. All right. We're still having troubles with that, but anyway, poor I blame poor Stephanie. Now you can see it wasn't Stephanie, it was me. But anyway, in the book it said this was basically with the part I edited. It said it was talking about Bach. He said he is readily readily capable with a ruthless dig or a salty quip. And he has customized his Pathfinder with a smattering of adult language for, for occasions when only that sort of thing will do. And then what he did was I added on to that and he uses his vocabulary to charm women. And some wonder with as many women as he's been with is there's a chance that you'll ever catch an STD. <laughs> and, and you thought that was going to go into the book. And you kept saying, I remember you verbally kept saying, why me? Why me? I'll show them how good you can say why me in the morning. Yes. I did. Yes, I did. Try saying why me with your voice again, just if you can for them. <laughs> yeah, that's what you were doing. Why me? Why me? Because we're alone. I can understand your speech well. And I said, because it's the truth, Block, because it's the truth. And you were going crazy, and I was going crazy laughing. And then, it, anyway, you emailed Julie Chadwick, and I love Julie Chadwick. She's a, helped so many people, and she's a major evaluator, and Work down there, Mississippi. And then she called T R, and then she called T R. Yeah, then she called the then she called the author, and she told the author what I had done. And when she told Tom what I had done, T R Pearson, the author, when she told him what I had done. <laughs> PR was not happy with it and she wasn't happy with it and so she called me and she said why did you do that well I was in real trouble now <laughs> so I apologized of course I apologized like crazy and I said I'm sorry about doing that but it was too late. They were mad. So they told me when the book came out, <laughs> they had bad stuff on me on it. Anyway, I had to sweat until the actual book came out. So anyway, it was just a, uh, so that's, that's my line I use with you. Revenge is a dish best served cold from uh, you got even times 10. I wait, I sweated it out for months. I want to do something for people. I'm going to put my email up there or uh, it's uh, I'm going to go to the chat here and try to put it in my email and uh go to the chat if i can figure that part out anymore this thing's going so crazy we'll put it up in a minute anyway we'll put we'll email and if you email me and say uh give me that you so, remember seeing that i'll send you on a copy of uh, of the book year of our lord i got quite a few copies i, I don't i won't send you one signed by lucas bach of them but i'll send you a book from, from them so all right bach it's we're starting to have trouble again but it's still going better than it was yesterday so that's that's all i can ask for all right, now let's see where we're going with this. So now we're back to, uh, let's see what you're seeing. I might have to do my swap again. All right, so there you're seeing, now what are you seeing? Yeah, you're seeing what I want you to see, so good. All right, that was Year of Our Lord Faith. That's Bach, Lucas, and I. And when I tell you, uh, Bach, I'm not seeing your camera though. There you are. When I say that you and Lucas and I had a great time that day laughing, 
Lucas is um, not e easily, it took me years to establish humor with him. When I used to tease him about politics or something, he'd always say, uh-uh. And then he used to even tell me, he said, don't, don't stop fibbing about stuff. So if I said, you, if I said like, and when I tried to joke with him, but over the years, he's gotten better and better, where now he's actually very good. He's always had great humor, but there was something about something about him that when you tried to do that sort of, that ribbing that you and I do back and forth, he had a hard time with that at the, in the beginning years. Bach, your mic's not on, so your volumes, your speaker's off. See, you have trouble with technology once in a while, too. It's not just John. Not just me. And Bach, Lucas would never use colorful language in any form. Like you have, you have all those. I didn't show the page in Tom's book. That and he would not say bad word. Words. Never. Word. Words. And he will not say bad words. Never. He's, a, he's just not in his DNA to do it, and he just wouldn't. But uh, sometimes you and I use quite off-color language on each other, like in a long ride in the car or when we're alone. And and, and there are times when uh, two yes. guys like, yourself, like you and I need those things with each other or want to be able to use those words. Now, sometimes parents or someone will get after us and say, well, why don't you put those words in the device? Well, I, we give you an architecture to add all those words and, and the words you need, but we, we would really get in trouble with a lot of parents if some F word came out in the middle of a kid's playing on his device. Uh, but <laughs> do, do you, I'm going to tell a funny story. One time we were in the car and you were you had your heart broke over a girlfriend and you 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 got mad at me about something. So you started calling me all your, my normal names. You I'm going to this is this is PG-13. Oh, at once time. All that yes. is time. He fill his entire screen up with John. You are a beep 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 from Hong Kong. Beep 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 beep. But then he added her name at the end of it, and I nearly cried laughing because you added her name at the end because you're mad at her. You, you added her name to all those bad things. But anyway, oh, good enough. We we digressed a little bit there, Bach. But having colorful language between two men in a car, there are times or in a certain situation, and there are times when it's just the most appropriate thing, and I'm, and you use that very well. And it's not something you, just like in my life. There are other men that never do it, so you have that option. Now, this is the most. So I wanted to, what really bothered me about why we redid this, what bothered me most about last night's video is I didn't get to show this one little video. And I wanted people to understand how important it is that you understand that when you, that kids don't start out telling jokes and telling jokes. I mean, like formal jokes, like why did the chicken cross the street or why does daddy got, you know, what's blue, red and blue and red all over. That sort of thing takes a lot of language and it comes quite late actually, uh, do the research on it it's not even early on and like it's almost like early middle school type stuff or, or later elementary school or whatever but you're not talking about they might do it but they don't really understand why they're doing it when they repeat them at the beginning so to really understand that you have to have a lot of language but it starts earlier in that and it, it's really beautiful when you see a speech therapist laughing with a child using language and or a parent doing it of course is even more is even prettier but this is a good example so we're going to try to do the playing the video again and see if it plays. And if it doesn't, then we're going to stop the share and make it work. Let's try and back. Let's see if it works. I'm just going to stop to share. Yeah, I see it. And I love the way you use your gestures and show. I'm going to stop to share. I'm going to go to do a new share. Whoops, see there, now it's playing. Bye. 
say goodbye to each other. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 I don't have the ability to pause, so I've, I'm in my same bind. Whoops, I found a way, but it stopped it all the way. All right, there's still some problems I had in doing that. So we still had some problems with our sharing. But anyway, that, I'm not going to play it again. But when I tell you that that little girl, when the therapist, Ellen, laughs at her, does such a beautiful job laughing at her. And, uh, it's beautiful. And the little girl to the right there gets much joy out of that. And she she laughs at saying the word ugly. And then if I kept playing it, she laughs at the word saying the word P. Anyway, they're both beautiful moments. And and I really uh, oh, loved it. So I was trying to share that with you. Now, what I have to do is figure out what, what you guys are seeing again. Bach, we're going to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You. Only me, huh? All right, so we don't know why this is giving us so much trouble again, but we're just going to keep playing around until we figure it out. Up to you. Mm -hmm. Up to you. Yeah, I can see it. No, we still got more to do, Bach. We're going to finish the presentation off. But uh, you, right now, I'm, and I just got to play with these shares again. Okay. All right, you're doing great, Bach, and you're uh, we're you know, we're hanging in there with what we got. Yeah. Blue screen, the blue, blue screen. screen. Well, I can live with a blue screen for a second. I think it's going to fix itself. Yeah. You can see. The video, the video. Good, you can see the video now. You can see that slide. Very good. Well, what I was telling you is the most important pin is the way Ellen laughs at the little girl's mishits. And last night we had a, a mother that asked a question, and the mother said, what do I do about my kids love telling jokes and being funny, but the teacher keeps shutting them down? And I, and I think all of us were a little shocked by that, but uh, as a teacher or a therapist or a parent or a brother or a sister, we don't want to shut children down when they're trying to be funny. It's even appropriate to laugh when they're not really telling something funny. And, and you, that's how we learn to be funny. So uh, enjoy communication. A little, make it pretty and make it funny. And when kids first start saying jokes, they actually don't know jokes. So they just put words together. They'll say, daddy cup, uh, daddy scissors. And your job is to laugh and say, you're right, daddy looks like a pair of scissors. And then if they laugh back, you're, you're starting to teach them the, the reciprocal back and forth of telling jokes. But it starts out with telling with being able to use words, which is one of the things I wanted to point out here is that for a system to be appropriate for a child, they have to be able to combine words in any order they want to. Not, the device should not correct their grammar or correct their order. It's really important when you're learning language at the beginning stages that you can combine words in novel order. Because I think a lot of times they're thinking those words. If they want to say daddy cup, they should be able to do so. They shouldn't say, they shouldn't touch daddy. And then the machine says is, and then it says, ah, and then they say funny. That that doesn't give you the same bang over time as, as a kid who can combine words in novel ways to make novel utterances and get them wrong and then correct them over time. So anyway, I'll, I won't perseverate too much on that. But I, what I really wanted, what was really upsetting me last night is that I didn't get to show Ellen and I still didn't get to do it the way I wanted to. I wanted to show you how the little girl said, ugly, and Ellen laughed. And then when she came back, she said, how does the hat look again? And the little girl says, ugly again. And then the little girl says, P, and then Ellen laughs at her saying P, but she never said that's inappropriate vocabulary. Why did you say that? She just went with it. And, and that's what you have to do to, to really spark that language explosion you're after. Okay, Buck, let's see if we go to the next slide. So I gave you this little open-ended, uh, you be the one that says, you, you say to your kid, so at the beginning, it's one word utterance from your kids. You'll say, daddy likes, and you're, you want them maybe to say mommy, or you want them to say grandma or the brother or sister, but if they say turkey, 
Then you say, Daddy does love turkey for Thanksgiving, and you go back and forth. This. And then later you might say, tell me who likes cookies, and then Daddy. So Daddy likes, and then you keep going back and forth. Daddy's crazy like a, and then they say cup. It doesn't matter what they say. There's no right or wrong answer. So did I lose your camera for a second, Bach? Now, what I want to do now, and I, I don't know why this works every time I'm on Zoom by myself, but when I'm here, it seems to not want to work. But uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can figure it out at some point today. Why? So now, to, in my mind, it's still there. So we still have a screen. I'm gonna stop the share and try again, even though I've tried this once or twice. Bach, you're back. I'm gonna try another share screen. And I'm going to go to this one and let's see what we get. All right, Bach, are you seeing? I am. I'm seeing my iPad. So we're making progress little by little with this sharing. So this is Lamp Words for Life. And what I want to show you is that it is perfectly appropriate when a child's ready to store jokes in there to store jokes into their device. So it doesn't have to line up perfect. And the place I'd like you to consider storing jokes is with the yes key. Now you can pick other spots, but um, go ahead, Bach. Nothing. Okay. The yes button, when you touch it, when you buy it, when you get Words for Life and you download it, when you touch the yes button where you're really proud of yourself, when you touch the yes button, there's nothing after it. I've added all this in there. So normally this would come with a completely blank screen. The only button that'd be there would be yes. Yes. So what I did is I stored some jokes in here to show you that the simple, one way you could do it is by touching yes and going in here and touching a joke. What do Kaz read the most? Yes, why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Uh, let's try that again. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? And then you hit yes again and you get the answer. She kept running away from the ball. So that'd be one way to do it. Now that would require the person hits the yes and hits the second button, hits yes, hits the second button. You could have them hit the yes and then tell it to, to hold that page. And now... Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? She kept running away from the ball. Or even if you have... I'm not going to get into this too technically, but I want you to know there's one easier way to do it. And that would be that the actual sequence, the first sequence, instead of saying visit this page... It could say navigate. That would hold this page until you said go back. You could skip doing this hold. They're all appropriate ways to do this. The other thing I want you to know is that you could have subcategories of jokes. So you, you're, the individual could hit their yes. They could hit the knock knock, and then up would come the knock knock jokes. Knock knock. So then there again, that doesn't make sense that I would go in here and not build the hold. Knock knock. Who's there, the person says. Ice cream. Ice cream who? She kept running away from the ball. Knock, 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 knock. Ice cream, ice cream, so you can hear me. Oh, I have to tweak that a little bit. That should only speak that last line instead of speaking the screen. So I have a few more tweaks I got to do. Ice cream, so you can hear me. So I got to build a little clear display in there. Don't worry, that's, we can fix all that. I just built it quick before the, today, getting a demo ready. So I hadn't even tried it out. It was just quick. But what I'm willing to do with you is teach you how to do this. If you don't know how, I'll make a YouTube video and we'll have a way to share it. You just email me at john.halloran at aacandautism.com. And I will send you, uh, we're going we're gonna to get an email from Stephanie. Just email Stephanie back or myself back and say, hey, I would really like to have that lesson in an email or that YouTube sent to me, uh, a YouTube video of how to do the jokes on a jokes page. Now, that's the one way I'm going to teach you how to do it, and it'll be cleaner than what I just showed you. I just wanted to get you an idea. But I actually, the way I'm about to show you is the way I really want you to learn it. Now, it is it is not easy, so you have to be patient with me. I have not found an easy, slick way to make this work, but it's not. Once you've done it a couple of times, it's easy, but you're going to want support to make this one work, maybe like a live webinar or a YouTube video for sure. So what I'd rather see you doing, you have as many jokes in here as you want, is I'd rather have you uh, hit a button like the yes button or something, and then you get your jokes, but you actually get to learn the learn the motor plan itself with the words that are that are contained in that joke. And words for life, we're always worried about getting you to college and getting you married like Bach is. 
even if you're three, two, three, four years old, we're not preparing you for kindergarten. You prepare a kid for kindergarten so they can be prepared for college. It's all a continuum. So here's here's what I've done. I've stored each word in here one at a time in the same place they exist on the device. So now the child hits this first button, which takes them to where the Y is. Why? And that's where the Y will exist the rest of their life. Then they hit the do button, which gets them to their past tense form. It. So Y did, the is a single hit. It. Then they go to their chicken. Chicken. Then they go to cross. Cross. It. Why did the chicken cross the street? And that's where street is going to be. So every motor plan they learned, if they wanted to say that again when they're in their full system or in their vocabulary, every word would be the same. They could be learning the words at the same time they're learning to tell a joke. And I think this slows them down. So it comes out word by word, which helps with segmentation of speech. So it has lots of benefits. So now they said, why did the chicken cross the street? They, they, they clear their display and the person says, I'm not sure. Why did the chicken cross the street? Now they can answer. Two. Bach. Bach, did you get it? Traffic. To Bach traffic. Ah, uh, got you, Bach. Ha, ha, ha. I got you. All right. You see the benefit of it. They're learning the words. Why? Where they're going to be. It. So the words it. are in the same motor plan. They get the segmentation of speech. Chicken. And they're learning their long-term vocabulary. Cross. It. The needs to be corrected. And you got it. If okay. you don't want to make a joke, page you always can. Store just about anything you want into the disability communication device. And if you don't want to make a joke page, you always can store just about anything you want into the communication device. That's right. And I'm going to put up my email just in case anybody uh, wants to email me to get get the YouTube video of how to do that. AC and autism. I can't see very good without my these glasses that are bifocals. But AC and autism back i'm getting old there you go all right there's my email. If you want the email you can get it that way and uh that way you can <laughs> you're getting just as old old as i am old man all right all right so that that was not covered very well last night either so i'm glad we got that kind of going um I used to use a pronunciation dictionary. I'd go into the kid's device. I, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'd go, figure out how to change the pronunciation. And I'd tell mom to pronounce as booger. And I wouldn't always tell. I'd do it with a kid in school. We'd play around and do M-O-M spelling, and then we'd hit speak display, and it would say booger. And then we'd have fun laughing. And what we did then is I would just send it home, and I would wait to see if the mom, if the kid would take that humor back home. Sometimes the mom would send a note the next day saying, why is Jimmy's, where it says mom comes out booger? Someone needs fix it he thinks it's funny well that was great humor uh, getting the mom and getting a joke so anyway have fun with the pronunciation dictionary what Bach and I do is banter we there's all sorts of humor out there from telling a joke <laughs> what we really are doing is bantering and bantering is when both parties are enjoying it uh we have fun with each other it's it's lighthearted. it's it's it's, it's an act of love believe it or not and in the long rides in the car, again, we would really banter the whole time for hours back and forth. Anyway, it's, I love what it says. But again, I was trying to emphasize that to banter needs access to a word-based vocabulary. It really is critical for anyone to actually play this game of ping pong with words back and forth. You have to have access to the words you're going to use and need in your vocabulary. 
Um, the next thing I was bringing up was that it happened to be that Bach's sister was a great protector. And she wrote this message about how when they went to this new school, some kid was picking on him and she swung him by his shoulders and around and around and let him go. And he took out crying. And there was an iron irony to your story, Bach. And that was that my father was, had a tumor when he was a child, a brain tumor. And he had a sister and ended up in her class. And she was a great protector of him too. And no one I've ever met had laughed and had as much fun as as my dad did in life. And I, and I think I got my humor from my dad. And I think you got it from your family. Now, Bach, this is a picture of you and your sister. It is incredibly hard for me now. Yes. See, I would pick on you about your color of your red pants, matching red pants with your sister. I really want to pick on you about it, but I'm afraid she'd swing me from my arms. And... Some people said that we look like twin. And some people said that we look like twin. You do. And your sister, I know you have a sister and another, you have two sisters and two brothers. Is that correct? Two. Boy, boys, and two girl, girls in the family. Two boys and two girls in the family. Yeah, and Jackie is the one I know the most because she's a principal. And Jackie is the one who wrote me the note that said that she swung the little boy. Th that's Jackie. And when, when I when I think about Jackie doing that, and then I understand, I know she's a principal up there in, in, in local here in Arkansas. And I think about how what a great principal she is. She, and I, I actually think maybe protecting you and stopping the bullying led to her decision to become a principal. You probably have. So anyway, uh, she loves you and she loves Shannon. And she says you're always welcome in their family, which you, I know that about you. That's you and your sister at some event. And uh, you bo both are very proud of each other. It's a beautiful thing. It was at her school because she asked me to come and speak to her. School. It was at her school because she asked me to come and speak to her school. Well, that that shows how proud she is of she wanted to show you. When I posted the thing about we were gonna do this, she was the one of the first ones to reply, Hey, that's my brother. So you nothing better than seeing family proud of each other. So in the field of AAC, there are people like yourself, Bach, who are really pioneers who started you were 21 when you got your first device. But you're not you're 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 getting up there now. You're you're in your oh, I'm not gonna say how old you are, but you're no spring chicken anymore. Five, three, fifty-three. Yeah, so twenty-one to fifty-three, that's a long time to be using an AAC device and changing lives. Yes. So it, it got me thinking about how effective people are when they teach. And if you've ever seen Russell Cross give a presentation, he, he is gifted. And the reason Russell Cross is so gifted is humor. Every once in a while, he uses him, he, humor above my level, so I don't want to always get every one of his jokes. But then I started realizing that there is something about using humor in education and teaching kids and speech, being a speech pathologist to remember to be using humor. And then Anthony Arnold's there. He's presenting at ATA. He's a great guy that presents, and I think that's Rick Creech. They all, but you guys are long-lasting influencers in the field. And I look, found this some research, and everyone knows this already, but it was just how effective research is on helping kids learn and when they're learning language, a second language or learning language. And I just wanted to reemphasize to all the speech pathologists and teachers out there to remember to use lots of humor in your class. If the kids are laughing, they're learning more efficiently, their behaviors go down, it reduces tension. All these things you see uh, in, in this slide, and I gave you a link to that study. This was, they compared boys versus girls. But 99% of boys indicated that jokes, jokes help them pay more attention during class and increases their level of concentration. And so anyway, Bach, you, you, when you go out and give these presentations and speeches, you are funny. I mean, no, the crowds laugh. 
uh, and I think that's been part of your effectiveness is is your humor. And 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 and, I, and did you ever get nervous presenting in front of a group? At one first, I did, but as time goes on, I got used to it at first hiding but as time goes on i got used to it well you got really used to it now the greatest presenter and speaker i ever met was bruce baker and he you you met bruce before that was many times yes and i stayed At one of his house houses. Yes, and I stayed at one of his houses. Now I have no hope in this video playing, but anyway, Bruce was a great teacher. Well, recently I saw this post and I said it wrong in last night's men speak is as easy as any system is. There's there's actually no system easier to teach than men speak. And what makes men speak easy to teach is that it's fun and it's funny. I mean, he had humor in those icon sequences. And so you you can, when you're teaching, if you just have fun with the kids and laugh at the humor behind the metaphors and analogies and associations, man, does it make plasticity easier to learn. I'm going to try to try to show that. Uh, the secret sauce behind Words for Life is, for most people know, it is men speak. Most people understand clearly that it, it, men speak is what makes Words for Life well work. I believe we were truer to men speak than other programs. We were the truest yeah. to men speak. What I are using now. That is what I'm using now. That's correct. You're using men speak now. But anyway, I, there's one part to you if this works and it's great. If it doesn't, I wanted to show a video of Bruce because he was a gifted storyteller and a gifted educator, and he made learning fun for everyone who ever met. But he also got he got joy out of telling a story. And I, I think that's something you and I have in common, Bach. We enjoy the story. We enjoy the we enjoy it ourselves. It gives us it gives us joy. Yes. We do. Yes, we do. All right, let's hope this just plays and I don't have to start fighting it. So this is on my Facebook. So it's going to go into my Facebook. We'll see if it plays. So far, I don't see it changing. So I think we're in trouble. No. It's not changing, did it? Oh, that, I'm going to stop the share and try one more time, Bach, and to see if we can make it work. We're getting better at this, even though we don't know what we're doing. Um, there was a guy named Wilhelm Stegel in Vienna who used Freud's theories in the most bizarre manner possible. And he said... Are you hearing it or seeing it, Buck? Yes. Oh, good. It is. Playing. It is playing. All right, great. So I'll shut up. Um, Freud was the giant, but even a, a pygmy standing on the shoulders of a giant sees further than the giant. And when Freud was told that, um, he said, well, that may be true, but it does not apply to a louse crawling in the hair of an astronomer. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite funny, really, really, I think it's quite funny, really, really. All right, you, you see Lance getting into it, and you see Bruce's laughter that. Well, I, I'm sure we're we. I'm sure we're closer to the louse than than we are the pygmy, but 
we I hope we added something to his beautiful genius work. Uh, and we when we separated the motor plans, they're, they're, they're subtle, small things. Making motor plans more unique really was a, a little extra seasoning to this to the sauce. And there's several others. I don't want to turn it into turn it into that 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 argument. But there are things we did to the to the secret sauce that that I think made it even even a more effective sauce. And that's as far as I go with that. But Bruce deserves all the respect in the world. And anyone who ever met him. And. Hmm. Is the one who created this, and he is the one who created this. Correct. He is, certainly is, and so no, no, so Baka, we, 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 we. That that was the other. That was the second part. I really wanted to give that due respect to men speak and Bruce Baker and all the men speak people. And so I'm, I'm glad that got to work out there. That, that, that was, that, that, there was a couple of reasons we had to redo the session. That was one of them. All right. Now I think we're back to the PowerPoint possibly working. I think we'll see what slide we were at. We're probably going on a little long now, but we got the main parts that really were bothering me that I didn't get in last night's session. So humor can be used to correct reading problems, aggression, behavior, all these problems. I think you got your humor from your mother, Bach. I, I have almost no doubt that's where you got yes. it. Yes. Now, Bach, they're, they're, they're not seeing you and me in here now. They're just seeing, your, I, don't, I can see you and I, but I don't think they're actually seeing us in the view. Let's see if I can get it back. We have to fight with it one more time. That's the way it is. All right. All right. She is. Once. Only. Four. foot and eight but she wants me as a cucumber, but she pushed her kid, kids. to do well in school. She was only four foot and eight, but she was mean as a cucumber, but she pushed her kids to do well in school. She pushed you hard, didn't she? And so she deserves all the credit in the world. All right. Yes. Bach, the last part I wanted to do, I was going to show a video of my dad laughing, because and that's just what's more for me than for anyone. And then the last thing we did is we... Uh, we're going to really celebrate your love for Shannon and how you used humor to find her. But I think everyone's got that part. I just do want to show a quick picture of uh, Shannon, if I can make that work. You really did well when you landed the beautiful Shannon, and she's so beautiful on the inside and outside and her family. And uh, so anyway, congratulations, Bach, on uh, the ultimate task of using your humor to land the most beautiful woman in your... And when I see the two of you together... And I see you guys laughing and, and all the things you do together and making each other happy. And you're a crazy family, how you guys all get along. It's amazing. <clears throat> you were so happy at the wedding and you I was honored to be your best man. Uh, I have two great friends in life who have kept me laughing my whole life. And friends are very important. So keep each other laughing, my friend.
All right, that's it, Bach. We did it. That's round two. That one's slightly better. We still had a little technical problems, but we got the videos in and we got to honor Bruce Baker and we got to talk about the kids at the beginning stage a little better. So thank you for doing it again, Bach. Did you freeze? Unbelievable. Come back if you can, Bach. I think the technology gave us one more laugh of the day. I think Bach bolted. All right, Bach. Next time, my friend. <laughs>